you're just running on drive, just sure adrenaline. You know, in the back of your mind, you just always have to keep that. Look, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. I'm Jamie Caldwell, 21 years special operations. I started my own tactical training company and I professionally bass fish. I, I grew up in New England, grew up uh, in, in Connecticut. I just always enjoyed being outside, running around. Kids don't do this nowadays, but playing BB gun wars and paintball guns came about, playing cops and robbers, you know, whatever it was, playing army uh, and fishing. As I got older, I, I knew, I mean, I leaned more towards that military side. I wanted to join the military. Senior year, enlisted, had a ranger contract. My counselor asked me, you know, what I wanted to do, and I pretty much told him I was joining the military when I graduated. I knew that was for me. I knew that's what I wanted to do. So after spending seven years in Ranger Battalion, we got to work a little bit with the guys from the unit. You were in awe when you saw them. You know, they're wearing the best kit. When I was Ranger Battalion, there wasn't really a big conflict going on. And I wanted to join the military because I wanted to serve my country. I wanted to go to combat. I knew those guys were doing that. So that was sort of the next step. That's the advancement for me from Ranger Battalion was to go to the unit. So I put everything I had into it, went to selection, was fortunate enough to make it. America strikes back. Afghanistan is pounded with bombs and missiles from the air and sea. When you first go to combat, mentally, nobody's prepared for it. I was in Afghanistan in 01. We had to make a long drive because we were heading to Tora Bora. We were going to hunt bin Laden. I did 14 deployments. You know, and, and some of them during the heydays of Iraq, I mean, there was, you know, 90 day rotations where we did over a hundred and something hits. So the transition once you get out of the military, I mean, everybody struggles with it. Some guys struggle with it, you know, in different ways. You know, fishing is my therapy. I'm able to, when I need it, just jump on the boat, get out there. Fish, I'm focused on catching those fish, figuring them out. You know, I'm out in nature, which I love. Step back a little bit, you know, take a look at the world. Just be in the moment and just go out there and have a good time. Through my whole career, really still had that fishing bug. So while I was stationed in Savannah, that's when I really got into bass fishing and tournament fishing. I was an adrenaline junkie, loved jumping out of planes, loved doing all that. Take my passion for fishing, the bass fishing aspect of it, competition, running around in bass boats at 70 miles an hour plus, competing against these other anglers and the fish. I, I knew I was hooked at something I wanted to do. So I continued to do that, ended up getting sponsors, putting everything together, fishing at different levels, exited out of the military and went professional bass fishing. 
My relationship with Black Rifle Coffee came about through a good buddy of mine, Kyle Lamb. And through my fishing, I just figured, I'm like, man, you know, Black Rifle Coffee would be a, be a great sponsor for me to have. They weren't doing anything in the fishing market. So I thought, man, I could really bring them into the market, you know, have the tactical background, which fits along with, you know, the whole company, everything that it's going for. So Kyle got me a introduction with Evan at SHOT Show, met Evan at the 511 booth, and we hit it off right away. And Evan's like, yeah, man, we'd love to do something with you. And it's just continually grown from there. I mean, they've been on board as a primary sponsor now for a few years, and I'm helping them to grow in the fishing industry and that market to uh, you know, really expand the brand to a whole nother audience.